Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Daredevil, issue number 609. Does that say the death of Daredevil? What? That's crazy. I'm going to get more into that in a minute, because I'm thinking to myself, there's no way Daredevil's going to die. And then first page, yeah, Daredevil's dead. What? What? <laughs> so we're going to get into that in a second. First off, this issue is called Thanatophobia, which, if I remember correctly, is the fear of death. Interesting, because he's the man without fear. So how does that make sense? Uh, Charles Soule did the writing. VCs Clayton Cowles did the letters. Who did all the other stuff? Well, this guy named Phil Noto. <laughs> Which, as usual, he kills this comic book, man. Awesome, awesome, amazing art. Really, really emphasizes everything that happens in this comic book. And my favorite part has to be the two pages where Daredevil is unconscious on the operating table and Stick walks up to him in his dream. And he's like, what are you doing? He's, I'm healing. That's not what I taught you to do. It's like, what did I teach you to do? You taught me to fight. Dude, that right there, if that doesn't get you into this comic book, I don't know what will. Oh, but I can give you a couple hints. Um, you're, of course, going to have to go to the comic book to store and buy the comic book in order to know who the three people are that he revealed his identity to. But I will tell you that he revealed his identity to three people. What? I'm also going to tell you that with all the crazy stuff that happens here, including a first appearance of a new villain, we don't even have this character's name yet, but there's a, there's a, there's a couple things you learn in this cameo-esque appearance. Oh yeah, pretty freaking interesting. Pretty interesting. Uh, but I will also say that the end of this comic book, I don't usually give the end of a comic book, but I will show you the final page of this comic book. First, I'll show you the next issue of the comic book. That looks awesome, right? That's the next issue. And uh, I will also show you the final page. Oh, yes, that is Electra. And oh, my God, like, dude, married, not married. All I'm saying is if I walked into my bedroom and saw Electra sitting on my bed. Yeah, I'm going to have some explaining to do because that's Electra. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so I can't blame Matt. Not even an iota. <laughs> so. Yeah, dude, this was an awesome, awesome comic book. And uh, this is also the beginning of a new story arc. Not only that, by it being the beginning of a, a new story arc, on average, 50-50%, sometimes like on average like 70 to 30%, there's a good chance that a new story arc is a great way to start on a new comic book. Well, here's something even better for you. This is 100%. This is as though we started at issue one, all right? This comic book... According to Charles Soule, the writer himself, who writes the best version of Matt Murdock I've ever read ever, I say that every review I do because it's true, um, Charles Soule states explicitly in the back of this book that this is a great time to jump on because whether you've been with him his entire run or you've never read a single Daredevil issue ever, the idea is that this comic book, this arc, is going to be a great arc for everyone. And yeah, I am so down for that. I am so down for that. And so far, so good, man. He's living up to just this first issue. He's living up to that promise. I am very much in love with what I'm reading. I'm a little biased, though. I like most of what Charles Soule does. Anyway, uh, good stuff, dude. Jump on, whether you're brand new to... I don't care if this is your first comic book you're ever going to read in your life. You can jump on this one, and I suggest it. This is going to be good. All right, guys. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.